Hello, my name is Dr Humphrey. I am the clinical lead for older people for the Bradford CCGs. I've been asked to talk to you today about why memory problems matter. Um, the first thing I'm going to say is, first of all, what is dementia? It's a question I get asked all the time. And what it is, is a gradual loss of, of uh, nerve brain cells um, and it leads to a progressive and an incurable condition. The word dementia covers a whole range of diseases, such as Alzheimer's and vascular disease, and it's what we call an umbrella term. And it affects about just under a million people in the UK. Why do you need to know if you've got dementia? Lots of people really fear getting a diagnosis of dementia, but actually, sometimes, you don't actually have dementia. So, if you don't go and talk to a doctor, you're never going to know and you're just going to fear it. Sometimes it's just normal forgetfulness of ageing. It's also something called malcognitive impairment, which means that they just have slightly worse memory than other people of the same age. The second thing to know is, actually, there's things that we can treat with dementia. So, there are things like depression, um, vitamin deficiencies like B12 and folate, and reactions to medication. And all of these are treatable, and actually your memory will improve if we treat them. And finally, even if you do have dementia, there is support that we can give you to deal with it. So actually, yes, nobody wants it, but actually it opens the gateway to new, to new support out there. So what can we do to help you? Well, there are medications that you might have heard of which help improve your memory, but there's also support for you and your carer. We can send you and support you to see people like the Alzheimer's Society. We can also advise about things like power of attorney um, and financial support and help you get access to research studies. Why do people want to know and how do we know they want to know? Well, we've done lots of consultations. There was a big one in Leeds in about 2013 and people said it was actually a huge relief to know. Thank goodness, now we've got a diagnosis. Now I know what I'm dealing with and I can cope with it. They didn't want it, but actually knowing helped them to move forward. Lots of people would like to know how to reduce their risk factors. Some things you can't do much about. Age is one of them. As we get older, more people will get dementia. But there are things you can do to help things like vascular dementia. So it's the same old things that we talked to you about diabetes. Stopping smoking, exercising more, having a good diet, but also keeping mentally active, crosswords, number puzzles, and being socially active. The more sociable you are, the more that helps your brain to accommodate. And all of these things help reduce your risk of dementia. But what do you look out for? Well, it's, not, it's more than just forgetting. It's struggling to cope with things like dealing with money. You might forget the bus route or know how to deal with how to get to a new place. You might forget names of objects of your familiar stuff that you'd have known very well a, long, a very short while ago and friends that you know very well. And then other things like um, not being able to have a reasoned discussion saying the same things over and over again. What to do if you're worried? Well, first thing to do is go and see your GP. They'll ask you some questions, they'll make you do a few memory tests, but remember it's not an exam, it doesn't matter if you get some of them wrong. Then they'll probably refer you to our memory clinic in Bradford. So remember, protecting your memory is all about keeping physically active, giving up smoking, cutting your alcohol, and making sure that you look after your blood pressure and your diabetes. But remember, however much you might wish that you didn't have dementia, it's not something you can change once you've got it. And actually then accessing the support means that you can go ahead and help your families and yourself to care for yourself better. We have something in Bradford called self-care, living with dementia well. It helps you to take charge of your life. How else can you get involved? Well, you could become a dementia friend and we'll make sure that the web address is at the end of this little film. And lastly, you can also take part in dementia research. That helps you get access to all the trials out there, new drugs, new therapies, and it could sometimes make people feel really valued when they get involved. We have lots of things in Bradford that can help and we'll put some of the resources at the end of this show. We have things like www.dementiacarer.net, 
which are films that can help you and your carer to understand some of the difficulties that other carers and people have had and think of solutions. And finally, caring and sharing can help, with Bradford Relate, help people to cope with sometimes what can be difficult caring situations. I hope you've enjoyed listening to me today. I'm sorry sometimes it's been a little incoherent, but there's lots we're doing in Bradford and we're really proud of the work we're doing.